This is a clip to show you how to use the Waldo Maths program or applet called Simple Linear Sequences uh, to find out what the nth term of a sequence is. Well, let's start straight away. On the, on the screen I've got the sequence 6, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22. And the first thing to notice is that it goes up by 4 each time. Now, what's the simplest sequence that goes up by 4? Well, that would be the 4 times table. So let's draw that. There's the 4 times table in yellow. But notice that we describe the 4 times table as 4n. Now, what does that mean? It means for the first position, it's 4 times 1, which is 4. In the second position, it's 8. And in the third position, or the third term, it's 12, fourth term 16, fifth term 20. So you work out the term by taking the number and multiplying it by 4. So the nth term uh, rule for the 4 times table would be 4n. But it's not quite the same as the sequence we want to find. Why? Because each number in the sequence we want to find is 2 more than the 4 times table. Each one is got by adding 2 to its equivalent in the 4 times table. So the rule has got to add another 2 on. And now we've done it. Because any, uh, any term can be found out by putting different numbers instead of n. For instance, the tenth term would be 4 tens plus 2, which is 42. The twentieth term would be 4 twenties, or 82, etc., etc. So you can find any term from this rule. Let's have a look at another one. Well, this time, each of the numbers is going up by 7. So let's compare these numbers with the 7 times table. Now, the 7 times table could be described in nth term times as being 7n. But look at the numbers that we're trying to find. Each one is smaller than its equivalent in the 7 times table by 3. So we can get the nth term for this sequence by taking 3 off. And that's our answer, because we now we find any term in that sequence by finding the term number, let's say it's uh, 10 again, and taking away 3. So 7 tens are 70 minus 3, 67, which means that the tenth member of that sequence would be 67. We, we don't have to do any further working to find that out. Now, every time you click this, you'll get a new sequence, uh, which you can investigate by moving these sliders left and right to see if you can find out what the rule for the sequence is. But bear in mind that the n number is the number that the sequence goes up by each time. So let's have a look at this one, for instance. This is going up by 3 each time, so 3n, or the 3 times table, is what we compare it to. But each number here has had 5 taken off, and so we have to adjust by taking 5 off to get our um, nth term rule. 3n minus 5. One last point. Looking over here at the right, uh, it's important to notice that all of these, if you plotted them on a graph, would line up in a straight line. This is what we mean by a linear sequence. And uh, you wouldn't be able to use this method for points which weren't in a straight line. But in this case, linear sequence means they're all in a straight line.